Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. King Ori. We have yet another classic show lined up for you. Our guest for this episode is here for the second time. He is a psychotherapist who holds a master's degree in counseling psychology. You loved him on his first appearance, but he's here today for yet another interesting topic. Benjamin Zulu is in the house. We'll be talking to him in a bit, but first, this week, former Secretary General of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNCTAD, Dr. Muhisa Kitui, announced that he will be running for president in 2022. No sooner had he made the announcement, there were ready reactions, and this one has arguably carried the most interest. Muhisa, Mushmiwa, I'm a talker, uh, London, Sujuni, Australia, Sujuni, Wapi. Dubai, wherever. Na yeye kwa sababu ni kijana yetu ya diaspora. Hakujagi matanga. Mukisa hakujagi matanga. Mume wangu ana mukisa kwa matanga. Sasa akikuja hapa asiwapatie 200, awapatie 1000. Kila mtu kabla mukisa ajaongea, mnampiga fine ya 1000. Mnasikia? Mukisikia mukisa kwa kameka, mnaenda nyinyi wote ni mbona ni huko wenyewe. Wewe 1000 kabla hujaongea. Imagine kusetiana hata kama everyone has to be punished. Let's be candid here. Kama kuenda matanga ni requirement ya kukuwa president, how comes baba has never been president? Hakuna matanga baba hajawaienda. In fact, hile matanga baba hajaenda ni ya tanga tanga ya jubili. Na, by the way, come to think of it. Baba ako kwa matanga ya jubili. Now, what Lurambi MP Titus Hamala is saying, ni regardless of how many achievements you have in life to lead, lazima ukuwe unaenda matanga. Makes it sound like in Western, kuna unit huenda matanga kukonfirm kama mugiza amekuja. Akujagi matanga. Mugiza akujagi matanga. <laughs> Mume wangu ana mugiza kwa matanga. So politicians and funerals are actually a thing. They are intertwined. This could be interpreted to mean that the career of Kenyan politicians is directly linked to Kenyans dying. This explains many things. That's why healthcare in Kenya maybe cannot be sorted because politicians will not get a platform. I'm asking myself, could this be why after the doctor's strike, political activities in the country hiked? Whatever you do with that information is up to you. That's all the evidence you need to prove that politicians love you to death. In other news, the gender divide, divide has been widened after a veteran uh, journalist Maina Kageni posted this video on his social media account this week. <laughs> Yani, there's a lot going on in that video, way more than meets the eye. Of course, to the naked eye, when the people who don't fear God watch this video, the thing that comes to mind, but that's not the point. From a, for a level-headed person, the interpretation is very simple. A man and a woman on a motorbike get stuck in the mud and then a lorry comes to the rescue. Now the question becomes, you mean the whole lorry only had enough space for one person? The lady. Maze, Lori, ata, yani afadhali umtu wa bebe mawe. Nyuma yiko na mwana ume mmoja. Enye, man, a man is a man's enemy. Maybe indio sababu watu wa duthi ya wapendi watu wa gari kabisa. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to start a gender war here. From a hater's perspective, the lady and the boda boda guy were heading in the same direction. Then they get stuck. A lorry appear going, a lorry appears going in the opposite direction. De manashuka kaipanda. To mean that who they matter how one end a maluom so and do the alku one enda, how one enda the same direction. If if you do what they want, you safari na wewe. Halafu waki gundu waku na malu na enda, they leave you for someone who is moving. Kuna atuna sema, even the irongo kangata ame nyakuliwa jubili. Now there's always uh, a talk of watoto wa squeeze wa miyaribika kuliko wa kitambo. How true is this? 
Every generation has said this about the previous generation or the generation that comes after them. Now, there are people who even feel that people born in this generation are weak because of how much parenting has changed. We have Benjamin Zulu on the other end of this short commercial break to help us break this down even further. This is one of those conversations you don't want to miss for anything. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori Shonzito Tena Kama Kawaida. Our guest for this episode here for the second time is a master's degree holder in counseling psychology. He's a life coach. You loved him the first time he was here. Back with us again, Benjamin Zulu Karibu Sana. Thank you so much. Hey, manze, manze. Leo, we are talking about a very different subject, but probably along the lines of uh, something that's affecting the world now. Mm -hmm. uh, new age parenting. Mm. Uh, I, I called Ben... Benjamin Zulu, uh, Juzi, ni I had an interesting observation. Nili get ya mtoi wangu phone and uh, the reaction was atasoma kweli. But looking at myself at that age uh, versus now, vile wana grow, you told me that this technology thing that does not mean that children are smarter than we were. In fact, I, I want to comfort parents. And when you talk about parents, uh, Kingori is us. You know, there before it was parents were was us. So many people yes. exclude themselves yes, yes. when they hear the word parents. Yes. Today, remember, seventy-five percent of Kenyan population is us and the young group. Yes, twenty-five percent. There was there a few one nowadays. Have you go, have you been surprised when you go to companies and you to wait for the boss? Then you're waiting for a person to come to prisons. Yes, Only for yes. a person like you, a lady, you could have cut here easily. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> coming through. You know. Yes, yes. So remember now, gadgets don't mean they are geniuses. Okay. Two and a half years old, three years, they know your phone more because they have nothing else to do. They are idle. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they Nas have. Nas Had you been given this thing at your age, you'd have also learned it. You are curious. So let's stop saying we have a generation of very curious kids whom we can't put up with. Uh -huh. What else do they know apart from the gadget? Okay. <laughs> they don't know life. So it's to say, let's stop overestimating because we end up being intimidated. Because yes. it's true, they can do things with your phone you have never yes. done with it. Yes. You've been with it and they take you hear sounds from the phone. You wonder, is that my phone? Yes. yes. <laughs> because you never know those games exist there. Yes. So it's true, but the thing is, it's a, it's, it's the, they're very curious and that's a, 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 they're supposed to be like that at that age. Yes. So number one, in order to, to decide whether to give your child and for you, weigh the pros and cons in the following ways. There are standard influence of phones on anybody. You need to know them. First of all, the phone brings the world home. So if you close the gate and tell the, the, the gate man, children don't go out, but then you bring the phone home, you brought, you brought the world home. The children did go, don't ah. go to the world, but the world came home. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. And it's a katiwa hapo na wapange kitu yao, and you know they are studying you and your movements. Yes. So they can master the movement with the ideas of the conga outside there. Yes. <laughs> they can find their way out. Yes. So, and one of the things, so we have said one of the obvious is that the, the, it opens the world. The thing is, don't close the, them out of the world. It's to make what they're being exposed to. So understand the standard pros and cons. One con is brings the world. Another con is that if you don't regulate how much they have it, they can sleep with it overnight, interfere with their sight, they become short. We have more, more people who are short-sighted today, more glasses uses today because people abuse their eyes when they're young. The phone is worse than the, the, the TV because it's closer to you, yes, all right? Yes, yes, yes. And the light is here, and kids closing the blanket with it. So if you do not regulate the exposure, it can affect their health, their sleep patterns, because it's too interesting. They don't sleep. Sometimes you have to whip kids to follow the, the sleep program you're in, in at yes. home. Yes. Other cons involve things like who are they talking to? Do they now go to play natural games or they will stay on the phone only? And the psychomotor. Psychomotor is the hands on the game, the, 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 the whole body. The games on the computer don't engage legs. So they just engage, engage the brain and the fingers. So there are games that the kicking of the ball, the, the running, the body requires all that. But if you leave this, they will forget to go to kick the ball to run after. And that is their body needed that for psychomotor, the muscles, and how to learn how to interact with other people. Wakosane wa resolve, they go, pitana, they arrange this, that is negotiation skills in life. They're learning them while playing, all right? Children play games that, play, players don't have losing and winning, that is five years and below. They don't know the games of losing, they just play kitchen, play dad, play mom. But when they reach like six, seven, they start playing winning and losing. That counting of score, counting of score, arguing, settling, that is life now. They need to play that one, all right? Okay. So, the, the cons, the, but the pros are also very strong. The pros are, if you don't get your kid the phone and the rest of the kids in the class have it, the kid will be old one out and they will be laughed at every day. Okay. That can affect their self-esteem, all right? If, if they do not know the trends that are going on because they are not updated, yes. <laughs> they don't know which phone is going on, they will also feel isolated. They could feel not loved. 
And let's not ignore this and say, in our day we do not have it. Your day does not exist. Don't raise your kid for a world that no longer exists. Okay. Some of us went to school without shoes. Nowadays they can't do that, all right? So you, th you were never used to use scuba. Scuba was your route 11, all right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> your yes, feet, yes. Subishi. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's how we used to go. But today that is a norm. So the thing is, the, the cons are also strong. The con, another con is, it gives kids a wider research. They were already library in one gadget. If they use it right, they get to know their personality type, the skills, they connect with other kids in the world, they get to see better movies without you having to buy every movie they used to buy, they can see things, the cartoons that are educative. This phone is inevitable. At the end of the day, you can't keep your phone, your, your, your child from it. Those people keep asking me, do I buy or not buy? Ask them, stop asking for a shortcut. If you look for a shortcut, you'll be cut short. Okay. The real work is get the phone and regulate how much content it brings to the child. Okay. The third factor is you should know your child. Know yes. your child whether they're disciplined, they're self-controlled, they're obedient, or they're cheeky, or they're cunning. That particular child, children are not the same. You can bring uh, phones to all your children when they reach 10, you get rich 10, you get rich 10, but many of them go the other side, then go, know this particular kid, and delay, or get them early, or grant access, or deny it, depending on how cheeky they are, how mischievous you've known them to be. And please, let's not force our women to be working every day, all right? Especially after they get the kids and you realize there's need at home. At home, bringing up your kids, um, uh, Kingori, is work enough. If there's a child who requires close observation, rearrange one of you to be more available, and you carry the financial but then let mommy be home with the child because the child after a few years they will go away if you say no we must work to the modern you can't stay home, then you lose the kid what is the profit you make money and you lose the child so when children are young it's very okay for us to rearrange that one of us has more time with the children pick the kid home i drop the kid you pick them observe them train them you two should do homeschooling even if they're still doing school and don't send your kids to body when they're class three king okay stop dumping your kids too <laughs> I, I, need, I need to note that down. Nimimba uh, Makazi. <laughs> Choice. Don't take your kids to boarding schools when, when they're class, class three. three. Yes. Don't stop dumping them to the world before you prepare them for the world. If you take your kid to body when they're eight years, ten years, you are dumping them with the kids who come from drug using families, dysfunctional families, chaotic families. They learn wild behaviors that you never see at home. Don't spend a month though seeing your kid. Are you crazy? This kid, you have not prepared them that they could be inject drugs, taught pornography, shown things, violence, boxing. Let me ask you, King Ori, when you buy your kid a pistol to shoot, and play games, shooting and killing people. Yes. What is the fun there? Policeman. What? <laughs> <laughs> they learn horror movies and violence from those other kids. You, I want to stay with my kid until I have prepared them for the world. At least until, I will not send them anywhere until they reach high school. They will stay with me so that I can observe, speak values, teach them the principles I want. Before I send them to the world, I want to have prepared them with the values and guidelines. Don't dump your kid in school. The reality is we don't take them there because one good for them. It's for two reasons. We think it's class, sign of class that you can afford it. Okay. But another thing is we are lazy. We want time alone. These kids are bothersome. <laughs> kids are work. When they're at home, they need constant attention. Yes. So sometimes we are sending them away to have some break. Yes, yes, yes. We are yes. just avoiding the reality. And that reason is ignorance. Thinking grades are what... Don't ask your kid whether they scored airplane. That is not the only question. Ask whether they know how to control their emotions. Whether they can be patient. Chapati <laughs> kipikwa. Whether they can... <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Whether they can share yes. the food with the other kid because the other kid did not get. Whether they can walk with the kid who got injured slowly home. Whether they can carry the book that was lost and take it with the teacher. Whether they see money and take it. Look for values, King Ori. Don't emphasize marks. That's where we are getting it wrong. Osama Bin Laden was an airplane student. So if you only praise airplane, you could be raising another Osama Bin Laden. Okay. It's not the brain only. Can we please also build the character? I'm happy they are scrapping away the useless 844 we had. 8 minus 4 minus 4. Zero system. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Because it was emphasizing, oh, airplane, you scored everywhere, I'll give you over this, you scored, you scored. And yet the same kids did not have emotional control, could not control their own passions, especially men. Wild passions. Some of these men you have seen in school, first class engineering, and they go to Kuskuma Mkokoteni because they cannot improvise the skills they got to do something. Okay. And they make some money. Cannot repair a motorbike, cannot repair the common things, the, the Mkokoteni, the, the, instead of repairing for common people and start there, they can't have that creativity. Activity. They have a lot of book knowledge, but they are useless in the street wisdom. But, but Nini, uh, for them, Kokoteni, I think I can defend them. 
uh, they are giving out full wheelbarrows now, so it's uh, complete. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned something here that uh, you need to monitor your child, talk values to them, raise them properly. Yes. Uh, kiboko, sijasikia kiboko. Oh, kiboko nilisikia where uh, you need to whip them uh, to follow a routine. In kiboko, what's the regulation? What's the kupanga? You know, there are the, 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 the line between using the kiboko to, you know, to straighten and using the kiboko to abuse. When you are sick, you, they burned the cane because it was being abused. But the Bible still says if, if, if there's a foolishness bound in the heart of a child and the whip drives it out. You don't drive that foolishness by, please, senior, junior, please just wear that shirt. Please, oh, tata, wear that shirt. No. Jun junior, well behaved. Use Jaden. <laughs> 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 the the Jadens we have today no. and, the, and, 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 the, and, and the Michelles, and what, what, what we have today is you must still use the cane, although having explained, because you are to come in the house at 6 p.m., but you played and overstayed at 6.30, and we said when you overstayed, it's how many canes? Two, all right? You make sure you explain so that tomorrow is called you, 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 re negative reinforcement. They associate coming late with the pain. And that's why every woman, even if you're parenting a boy alone, you need to have a male voice somewhere. Through the teacher, the pastor, the mentor, make sure if you're bringing up a boy. I saw a, 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 a mother and a, and a five-year-old, both of them crying and shouting on the road, all right? The boy doesn't want to go to school, and the mother is driving her to the school bus, and he, the boy is complaining by crying. Boys, children communicate many things by crying. They can cry of hunger, fear, pain, and mothers know it. You've seen that a child cries and mother is not even bothered. So yeah. they, another cry, and the mother is startled, yes, yes, and yes, they yes. run. Yes. Because because this boy was crying in terms of protest. Ah! And the, the, boy said, the mother is also shouting, God is you're driving me mad. So both of them were, ah, ja, 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 ja. mother in the sun. Yes. And I saw helplessness. Because the, boy, the mother doesn't understand that boys don't know emotional. To this day, men don't know emotional language. They still have to learn it even at our age. Okay. We still don't get it why the woman is quiet and quiet and she's just this tension in the house and you don't know where to start. And okay. <laughs> you don't know where to. So don't shout to boys. Explain what you mean and always implement punishments quickly. Rewards and punishments will be implemented. I keep teaching mothers because have to, many of them have to raise uh, children alone and they have to raise boys alone. You can still raise a president like Obama being a single mom until he's coming to look for the grave of the father when he has already achieved with the guidance of the mother. So you can still father, quote unquote, when you are the mother. Sometimes necessity leaves you alone to do it. Many of us have been brought up by our mothers. Our fathers were absent. They were in Nairobi. They were coming once a month oh, 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 in a blue moon. And we had to be raised by our mothers. So our mothers had to be tough a little bit and tell you, even if you are tall, my mother will say, even if you are tall like a tree, I will climb you and beat you up there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the boy grows tall and you think he's tall. Well, even yes. if you are, I'll climb you and beat you up. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for boys, implement punishment quickly. Yes. So, come on. And explain. Ejia. Yes, explain. Why you're punishing them. So, come on, Mefika, Ejia Boxing, Mangumi, go for knockout. <laughs> <laughs> quickly. <laughs> yes. Bah! And many times, uh, it's, to tell, it's, it's to let the child, let the boy know that you don't enjoy the beating either. You're also, you're also uh, disappointed that he's bringing this. In bring it into, into, into this. So when you beat them, you also cry. <laughs> <laughs> you're not <laughs> enjoying. You express your emotion. Tell them you have driven us to this. We didn't want this. It's you brought it all this far. And uh, let them repeat why they are being beaten up. I'm Remember, some teachers against. would explain to you and then have you repeat? Yes, yes, yes. That yes. is very important. Let them know what, what has occasioned this. Ah. You went fist fighting with that boy. You went insulting. You went uh, ate food. So, you know, you, you threw stones at that car. Those kind of mischievous things. Yes. Always associate them. And don't explain them. Next time, next time. Don't make noise. No. Women, stop making noise to boys. Explain calmly. Don't tell don't really me, just like your father. Don't transfer, don't project. Don't get up. worked up. In fact, when you're worked up, don't act. Postpone the discussion until tomorrow. So now, uh, come here, Jaden. Yesterday, what happened? Beat oh, ma'am. Yes. Beat them when you are happy. As in when you are calm. Exactly. When you are calm. Mm. Don't transfer anger and frustration. Beat them to a gospel song. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. These are very, very wonderful. Exactly. Tips. Some people hold uh, the opinion that when you have your children early, at least you will interact with them as adults while you're still young. You'll interact with them, but you're also broke. King Ori, what is the point of your father being young and he's also broke? What's the point of your mother being young and she's, a, she's in a sick relationship? Because we'll get rich together. How will you get? You see, children demand money. Let me tell you the problem of premature marriages. You end up marrying a person you're not compatible with. 
to realize your energies. And this, I want you to help me get this message out here for men and women. Most, be, most women become themselves, 26 and above. Before then, you don't know who you're dealing with. Before she's 25, the brain matures at 25, they're about. When she's 24, 23, it's a, it's, a, it's a caricature of the woman is on the way. This is a girl. And many of them are, are very intelligent, ambitious, and driven. But when she's just fresh from university, when she's a year for the year, she just looks calm like other girls. And you may think it's just driven with a girl. Only later for her to begin to want more, to begin to be driven more, to in the values of her life become opposite of what you expected. She did not explore. You tied her too soon. She starts cheating left, right, and center. She feels like you, you shortchanged her development. So I want to ask men, even when you're dating, Let's date for a woman who has, who has matured and mentally stabilized. So anyone dating a woman under 25 is just practicing? Yes, they're inviting drama and mayhem and chaos and, 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 and depression and stress. I don't like it when somebody goes, oh, there's this girl, the, a guy came and sent me 50 screenshots of the chatting the girl is then doing with, and how old is the girl, 23? I told him, mine, remove your stupidity from my inbox. What are you doing with a 23-year-old? Where's your head? Can you use the thing between your ears to think, not the thing between your legs? What are you doing with a 23-year-old? And typing for me here, how she, she's supposed to be exploring, she's 23. She can sleep with anything now, anything. <laughs> and wow. want to tie her down. <laughs> so, so wait, so wait. As men, we are supposed to wait uh, for sinners to reform we are waiting on the other end. Sasa watu wafanya dhambi zao zote, tukutane on the Hata other side. Hata wewe zako. Apana, you started doing your listen, listen. No, sasa, okay, ona, assuming a man ameokoka maisha yake yote. <laughs> no, no, for real. <laughs> That's true. For real. As in, and, and you wait for Jezebel on the other end, at, sasa because they are 20, 21, 22, 23, seven years waiting for her to log out of Jezebel. Is not, that even fair? Not all women go through wild faces. The thing I'm saying is, before they become, you can't tell what you're dealing with. And let me mention this, before we close that chapter. If you stay in an abusive marriage because of children, you are not being loving, you're being stupid. You're teaching children that, that love, marriage, and abuse are the same. They can coexist. You're starting a generational curse. If the person is not good for you, they are not good for your children either. If the person is a not good mother for you, they are dramatic, coming home at night, causing chaos and banging, breaking, glass, breaking glasses and TVs and sitting left and right, and you're staying there because of your children, you're being stupid. You're teaching children uh, to accommodate abuse and not, they don't know what is self-respect, they don't know what is peace, they might end up marrying like you. So moral of the story, what do you think is the way forward in terms of uh, relationships? Because this is what, as in, this is the environment that children are born into. Right? If you can and find that affects the generation. Altogether. If you can be the two of you peacefully bringing up the child, that's the ideal. But if when you are together, it's tension and chaos. Better you'd be alone with the children and there is peace. Children would rather have peace with one parent than war with two parents. I think that's a very good place to end it. Asante sana. And thank you very much for honoring our invite. Always a pleasure having you on. Thank you, man. Uh, good vibes. Uh, Santi Sana, and I hope you enjoyed Benjamin Zulu on the Wicked Edition. That's it. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.